It's clear I don't... Call me Cat. Okay, Cat. Call me Kitty Cat. <laughs> okay, Kitty Cat. Hey everyone, John here. This is my unboxing video for the Black Cat 1 5th Scale Mark Brooks Artist Series statue. Uh, this is the exclusive edition, which they made 200 pieces of. Mine is 152 out of 200, based on the, the shipper box that came in. And yeah, we're going to take a look inside, uh, check the switch out that came to, with the exclusive edition, and yeah, hopefully uh, everything is fine and there's no damages. Let's take a closer look. And I guess it wouldn't be much of an unboxing unless I showed you the box it came in. So here's the front view of it. This is a Mark Brooks Artist Series statue. Um, he has three other statues. Uh, they were part of a Spider-Verse line. They included uh, Spider-Gwen, Silk, and Spider-Man. They're all one-fifth scale. And I do have the Spider-Gwen of that series. And I also have a J. Scott Campbell comicette version of Spider-Man that's also one-fifth. Uh, scale. So I figured this would really complement those statues really well since they're all in the same scale. Um, so yeah, let me show you, give the box a little twirl. Uh, it's one of the, it's kind of a unique statue in that like it's meant to be displayed with the most of the character side view exposed, which is not your usual kind of um, display option for a statue. Typically with statues, they do kind of display from the front or at least maybe a quarter angle from the front. But anyway, let's give this uh, this box a twirl so you can look at the, the details of it. Um, as you can see on the side, there's a little bit of a nightscape, kind of like nice purple and pink colors. In the back, you get more of a front view of the actual statue which is kind of nice and uh side view same thing right there and if you look at the top it just says uh black cat mark brooks artist series uh so kind of looking forward to digging into this uh let's uh get to the next step of this unboxing and actually take a look what's inside and here's a quick look at what's inside as you can see we have the base which is right here has chat noir cafe uh you have I think this is the bag, the purse that goes around her. This is part of the um, regular edition of the statue. Here's her other arm here, obviously the body. Here's the cat. Um, I don't think it's uh, if it has a name, kind of like, you know, uh, what's his face from uh, the Captain Marvel movie, uh, Chewie? Or uh, what's, what's his name in the color book? I don't remember, but anyway, I don't think he has an actual name, but there's the cat that goes on top of the statue along with Felicia. Uh, this is, I'm pretty sure, is the exclusive uh, piece that comes with the exclusive edition. And uh, the other arm. And then the head uh, portrait. The portrait. So I'm going to take these, some of these pieces out of the box. And I'm going to show them, give you a little close-up view of them. I don't want to do, I'm going to do it off camera. Because I don't trust myself and I don't want to break this thing. Day one I have it before I even build it. So uh, yeah. When I come right back, uh, I'll show you, maybe I'll start with the, the portrait and go from there. All right, and here we have the portrait. I haven't taken a good look at it yet because I want to get my reaction on camera. So I'm taking it out of the little plastic that it came in, giving it a close look and let's let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, you know what? It's pretty good. Look, check that out. I'm gonna look at it off, off the phone. Yeah, I, I'm really liking what they did there. Nice little detail as you can see on the eyes I, I i love the the look she has very playful kind of look on her face um let me see if i can zoom in here maybe not maybe not there it is yeah as you can see they did a good job with the eye makeup too um you can see that they uh the the hair is sculpted pretty nicely has nice little wash of uh grays and other little bits of color not too bad not too bad so yeah I'm really I think it's a really good sculpt it's pretty accurate to the pictures they have on the website which is good because um I remember that I think the spider Gwen head portrait looks slightly different than it did in the prototype version when that came out a few years back and a lot of people weren't very happy with that but I don't think that's will be a problem here it looks very similar to what you saw on uh, the sideshow website which is nice um, let's take a little closer look zoom in a little bit let's see if I could do that now and uh, there we go let's see there we go there's a closer look at some of the paint detail here which I think they did a really good job with 
So anyway, let's uh, move on to some of the other pieces, shall we? And here we have the base. I ended up having to do it off camera because I didn't want to end up dropping it or anything because it's actually quite heavier than I anticipated. But uh, here you have the front of it. I really like the design. It has like little kind of neon looking uh, accents here on the side. I'll show you the bottom right here. There it is, Mark Brooks Artist Series, 152 out of 200. Nice little metallic sheen to it, as you can see. All right, and there's the spots where everything's gonna key in. So far, so good. Magnets are all intact. Let's see what the back looks like. Nothing to write home about. Just kind of like a, kind of just a little red uh, part paneling there from uh, the back of the, the signage. So anyway, we're gonna put this, go ahead and put this down here. Put on my little rotating base here and uh, build her and let's see, uh, see what she looks like. All right, I went ahead and keyed her into the base because I tried to do it uh, while I was on camera. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt just because you had to get it just right for it to key in. So I went ahead and just did it. So now that we have her on the base, or at least her body, let's take a closer look here. Let's start with, from uh, the bottom up. As you can see, they have some nice detailing here. You see, you see kind of the seam where the boot starts. You see the some of the um, fur kind of flowing, giving you a, giving you a sense of uh, motion there. You see there's a lot of folding here where the leather, or you know, quote unquote leather is. It's a pretty nice touch. You see some folding right where her foot, where kind of where she was uh, grabbing kind of like a little bit of traction to make a escape. Uh, there's a nice little detail here on uh, the sole of her foot. You can see the, the treads on, on her boots, which is pretty neat. All right, going up, it's all pretty straightforward. It has a nice texture to it. You can see it, ha it gives the impression that's kind of like a leather type of texture to it. And it has folds kind of where you would expect it. Some pretty nice detail here. See a nice little zipper there. Little uh, zipper here. I think kind of supposed to be a heart. I'm not entirely sure, but some decent paint work there. You see the belt buckle right there. Um, she has pockets on both sides. You see one right here. And there is another one here. But the way it works is that that's where um, it keys into to give... Uh, support to the arm that has that's holding the purse or the spider-man uh costume i'm not sure if both of them use that keyhole to give it support or not so uh we'll see when we start building this thing together putting it together i mean um as you can see there's some nice little uh detailing here where the where the fur is so uh yeah from here we're gonna go ahead and start keying stuff in let's uh let's start with the head why not all right, I figured I would start with the head so uh, it wouldn't be too creepy when we put the arms and it's, she's still a headless person. So as you can see, there's a magnet right there. There's a magnet right there. They're both certain shapes. You kind of do the math there and put it in there. I'm going to hopefully do this one-handed. We'll see if I can still do it while on camera because it can be tricky sometimes. Uh, give it a little wiggle. Hopefully it'll fall into place. There we go. All right. So there we go, pretty seamless there as you can see. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a focus. There it is, there's the head right there. So far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some of the rest of the stuff in. The purse, let's start with the purse and then we'll end it with the uh, exclusive uh, arm because I figured that's really, realistically, that's how I'm gonna end up posing her. So we're gonna start, before we do that, we gotta put her arms in all right so this is should be her left arm right here this is the one that's blowing the kiss same deal as the head you just kind of keep both parts in hopefully it'll just snap into place boom pretty easy there nothing too crazy as you can see just kind of wants to go there and stays there so that's nice you know she's kind of blowing you a kiss right there all right here we go let's try this one it should be the same deal here with this one Hopefully it'll just pop into place. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what orientation this is supposed to be. I'm guessing backwards, kind of like this, kind of like she's running. There it is. All right. 
So far, so good. We have that arm in there. We have that arm in there. All right, let's try to put the bag in. As I mentioned earlier, she has a one pocket there. And there, it's missing the pocket, but it's because you key this into there where the pocket would be. All right, so let's give this a shot. This should kind of just key in magnetically there. Let's see. I'm not having much luck doing these things one-handed, it seems. The trick is you add the purse first, so you don't have the, you're not trying to maneuver around the hand. Let's see if that is works any better. And indeed, it does work better. There you go, as you can see. So now that we did that, let's put the arm in now. Boom. A lot easier to do it that way. So now, you know what? We're figuring stuff together here. How about we do this? Let's take the arm out, put kind of this over the shoulder, like so. So then, when you put this in, it should just kind of work into place. There it is. Kind of do one of those numbers, and then you kind of let's see if I can get a little tricky. It's a little tricky here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to see if I can get her to hold it, as you can see. There, from there, you kind of key it into place. Boom, there it is. That gives a really cool little look to it, as you can see. She's holding on to the purse as she's making a getaway. So now I think those are like the main pieces of the body. Let's go ahead and put the other pieces. All right, let's put these uh, little web blasters, web shots on next. Let's try to figure out how these go. Guessing this one probably goes here, maybe? Nope. Guessing here then. There we go. I have to assume this one would be here. Let's give that a shot. There we go. Like, how is this one gonna go in? As you can see, like her foot kinda blocks it that way, so it can't be that. But if you turn it, definitely not that way. So the only thing I could think is that it has to be this one. Because look how, look how the webbing, how it's molded there, like around, like it's supposed to be around the foot. So this one is definitely here. Yep, there it is, just like that. And this one must go there. Boom. Perfect. There we are. All right, and last but not least, it's clear I don't call me cat. Okay, cat. Call me. Okay, kitty cat. And let's see what he looks like. All right, as you can see, he has a little key. That's how he keys into it. It's a, it's a cat. He has a cute little look on his face. Look at, look at the cat eyes. Nothing too special about him. It's just kind of your standard cat. He does have a very playful pose. He seems like to be uh, in on whatever it is that Felicia's uh, up to in this. So let's go ahead and key him in. Simple enough. Let's see. And I'm guessing it's right right here, right? Yep. I put it in, but it seemed like it didn't go in all the way. Let me try that again. Alright, there we go. And that should be complete. Um pretty cool, but I don't like that as if you can see, there's a bit of a gap right there that you can see, which I'm, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be able to see that. I feel like it's supposed to be more like that, but he kind of raises up, so it's not an exact fit, which I'm not too happy with that, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Once you, once you have it like this, you're not really gonna notice it as much, and it's kind of not the main focal point of the statue. But here we have her in all her glory. At least the this would be the regular edition of her. And you know what? I really like it. I love the kind of playful, kind of kissing 
pose that she has here, holding all the jewels, as you can see. I really like all the little details they have there with the money. I like the sense of motion it has with the money flying in, the jewels kind of hanging. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy this a lot, obviously, you know. Um, I do like that it's not super sexualized. It's like just on the right side of it, you know. Obviously, um, Felicia's kind of like a sexy character, you know. She kind of uses it to her advantage sometimes to like uh, kind of give Spider-Man a hard time. So, uh, 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 as far as that's concerned, this there's nothing really too super creepy about this. This is something I can display and my wife isn't going to give me weird looks, which is kind of cool. The reason I got this too is because growing up, um, a lot of people, their first like Spider-Man couple was probably Peter and MJ. But for me, when I first started reading Spider-Man comics, I started at uh, Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, that series. And in that series, it was mainly, especially in the beginning, kind of, I forget when she started on that series. but. Basically, when I started reading it, it was when Spider-Man had the black suit and he was dating Black Cat. And for the maybe the formative years of me reading Spider-Man, that was kind of my uh, my Spider-Man power couple at the time. It was very much her and Spider-Man uh, kind of getting in the trouble with Cloak and Dagger, with Kingpin, well, uh, with uh, the Spot. Spot's one of my favorite, like, kind of C-list villains. He doesn't get enough love. But, uh, yeah, so for me, kind of growing up, uh, it was it was Peter and Felicia. Peter, uh, Spider-Man and Black Cat. I also kind of got a kick out of the fact that she really didn't care much about Peter Parker necessarily. She was more about uh, dating Spider-Man. Spider-Man was the guy that she was really interested in. And, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of a fun dynamic. And for all intents and purposes, you know, I have a lot of nostalgia with this character. And, you know, this kind of captures a lot about what I like about her. You know, just kind of that she's, you know, sometimes on the right side of the world. Uh, right side of the law sometimes not and she always does it kind of in a playful way which is fun so yeah um here is like i said the regular pose and i'm gonna go ahead and change the pose to the exclusive uh arm so let me go ahead and try to change this i'll try to see if i could do it on camera if not i'll cut this later <laughs> so I forget the best ways maybe to roll this off her sleeve, off, off her shoulder, kind of like that. Kind of take off the arm, try to undo her hand like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this off as well. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, which now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't have the same peg that goes into there on her side. So I'm gonna go ahead and look to see, cause I can't imagine that you put this in and there's just a hole there. So I'm gonna see if there's some kind of part that I'm missing. For the exclusive version, you put in the little pocket, as you can see. It's magnetic too, love. You know what? I love when they do uh, magnets, it's so convenient. It's way better than pegging them any other way. It just takes away the guesswork. It takes away some of the stress of breaking stuff. It's the best, because look, you just do that, boom. It's just in there. So, all right, so that's mystery solved on that one. Let's go ahead and key in her arm to complete the look. Easy enough, it's all magnetic. You move the purse to the side, and here we have which I'm guessing is probably the main way I'm going to display her is with uh, stealing Spider-Man's costume, which I really like this pose. It's nice and playful. It's kind of like, you know, very black cat. You know, I, I, I like the cat kind of jumping, looking up at her, kind of playing along with what she's doing. I like the uh, web shots you have there. Um, yeah, this is a this is a good figure, If you a uh, good statue. If you're a fan of uh, black cat, and you, you don't want a big quarter scale premium format figure, I think this is your next, your best bet here. Um, it really does a good job of getting her personality down, kind of, you know. Um, the exclusive version, I'm not sure if whether it's still available or not, um, but I do recommend it because it's just, it's a lot of fun. I 
Hope Sideshow comes up with a Peter Parker statue in his underwear chasing after her. That would be a lot of fun. And I would probably get that actually a display both of them together. <laughs> so anyway, here you have it, folks. This is the one fifth, one fifth scale black cat figure from the Mark Brooks art series. Um, it's a pretty good figure. I'm, I'm really happy with it. And it should go really well with my spider Gwen and my spider man. Um, I'll, I'll post pictures on this video with, with them on my little display just so you can see what they look like together. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and uh, have a good one.